This video shows you how to bootstrap spot rates from par yields. The term bootstrapping is perhaps unfamiliar to you. It is widely used not only in finance to describe any process that starts from its simplest step and builds up from there in stages to the required objective. In a moment, I'm going to explain why the starting step in this situation is the one-year rate. For now, I address the concept of a par yield, which is the term for the yield to maturity of a bond which is priced at par. Under such conditions, and as a natural consequence of TVM arithmetic, the bond's market price equals its face value and its coupon rate equals its yield to maturity. The spot rate is the annual rate compounded annually which links a single future cash flow to a present value today. This example asks you to calculate the one-year, two-year and three-year spot rates from the supplied annual pay bond par yields. For convenience, we will assume that the bonds all have a par value of 100,000 Rand but the calculations are exactly the same in principle with the same outcomes regardless of what the actual par values are. You begin with the simpler step, which is the one-year par yield of 8%. This means that a one-year bond with a face value of 100,000 Rand and a coupon rate of 8% has a market value of 100,000 Rand. Because this is a one-year annual pay bond, it has only one future cash flow at T1 being the repayment of the face value of 100,000 Rand plus the coupon for the year of 8,000 Rand. The only rate that can explain a present value of 100,000 Rand and a future value of 108,000 Rand over one year is, of course, 8%. In fact, no calculation was required for determining the one-year spot rate. It has to be the same as the par yield. The triviality of this situation arises because there is just one future cash flow on the timeline. The two-year situation is not as straightforward, but it is certainly not difficult once you understand the main insight into the bootstrapping process. You proceed by taking what you now know about the one-year spot rate and applying it to the two-year timeline. In this case, the bond has a coupon rate of 9%, and so you use that number along with the 100,000 Rand par value and the two-year maturity date to allocate the relevant cash flows. These are 9,000 Rand at T1 and 109,000 Rand at T2. You then use the 8% one-year spot rate to calculate the present value of the T1 cash flow, which is 8,333. Next, because you know that the bond is priced at par at T0, you fill in the total market value of 100,000 Rand at that date. This means that the T0 present value of the 109,000 Rand cash flow, which will occur at T2, has to be 91,667 Rand because this is the only number that will work to ensure that the total T0 value is 100,000 Rand. In other words, you fill in the missing number through simple deduction. The final step is to determine the spot annual rate that explains a present value of 91,667 and a future value of 109,000 Rand after two years. You could use a financial calculator standard TVM inputs to work this out. Alternatively, use the standard equation to solve for the rate, which is shown on your screen right now. Thus, you have now solved for the two-year spot rate in addition to the one-year rate and you are ready to carry on to the three-year rate. The three-year annual pay bond has a coupon rate of 10%. Therefore, its cash flows are 10,000 Rand at each of T1 and T2 and 110,000 Rand at T3. You use the previously calculated one-year spot rate of 8% to determine the component present value of the T1 cash flow at 9,259. Similarly, 
The T2 cash flow is discounted at the 9.045% spot rate calculated in the previous step for a component present value of 8,410 Rand. Applying the same insight as before, namely that the bond's value at T0 has to be 100,000 Rand, you establish that the missing value, which is the present value of the T3 cash flow, has to be 82,331 Rand. Finally, you calculate the three-year annual spot rate at 10.14%.